Hello, in this week's video we're looking at paper.li. It's a site that allows you to collate content from a range of social media sources and then share it in the form of an electronic paper. As I've said in earlier videos, with such a wealth of content online, it's not necessarily so important to create content, but to create the content that is most appropriate for the, the task at hand. And it's a, a skill that we need to help our students develop. And this just makes it easier to pull together stories, articles from a variety of sources uh, and publish them in a nice, efficient way. So you can log on with either your Facebook or your Twitter account. I've done that and then it's free to get started. Um, as with a lot of these sites, there's a paid version which you can also use. So I can put in things that I'm interested in. I can then preview the types of content. So there's a variety of sources there, lots of different things. I can then, next layout, I've got a choice between modern and classic, so we'll go with modern and create my paper. So I'll take a, a few minutes to pull that together as it collates all the information. It's just loading up now. And then the great thing is I can share that across social media. And you've got a variety of stories listed there and, and who they're sourced by. If I go to the COG, I can, there's an option to upgrade to, to Pro for a fee and there's various other elements that I can look at, but I tend to leave it as it is. I can go to content, um, add content sources. I can choose to add Twitter sources or fa Facebook sources. I can add an RSS feed. I can add a Google Plus source and a YouTube source. So I can do that there, and that will give you great control over what is being added. So let's go back. Uh, and there's a manually add articles. So if there's particular articles I want, I can add them that way. And I can also view my content settings. So there you have it, a very quick guide to using Paper Li, a great way to collate and share information from a wide range of social media sources. Hope you found the video useful. If you liked it, please share it and subscribe to my channel and join me again soon.